Have you ever noticed how in a crowd, a child could cry out? And all these voices, all this noise, and a parent hears that voice calling out. When we think of God, we need to know we've got that kind of attention coming our way. Hi, I'm Pastor Mark. This is Midweek with Mark. As we look at the scripture for this upcoming Sunday sermon, this week we'll have Pastor Terry Russell preaching. And Terry, what are you going to be, what passage are you going to be talking about? I'm preaching on Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. This is Jesus and his interaction with Bartimaeus, who's a blind beggar, who is sitting on the side of the road and crying out to him and asking Jesus ultimately to heal his sight. But Jesus does even a deeper healing of his sight and his spiritual life. Hmm. Well, I know there's a lot in this passage. I'm looking forward to the sermon Sunday. But is there a particular takeaway for you right now as you're leading up to Sunday? I'm struck by how Bartimaeus cries out so desperately to Jesus. And even in the midst of the crowd, it says in, in verse 48, many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, son of David, have mercy on me. That no matter what was going on in the environment, that he cries out to Jesus and Jesus calls him to him. That there's really nothing that can go on in our lives around us that prevent us from having a talk with Jesus. And that mm -hmm. Jesus will answer us and be faithful to that. So it's, it's a beautiful part of this very uh, inspiring story that's captured here in scripture that yeah. can help us to be encouraged as we continue forward, crying out to Jesus and looking to him to guide our, our lives. I just love the story and that sense in the midst of the crowd, Jesus hearing Bartimaeus' voice crying out and for us to imagine that when we pray, in the midst of all the voices crying out to God, he hears us and we can pray with that kind of courage, right? Yeah. That Jesus will hear us. Yeah. What good news. Let's pray together. God, thank you so much for Bartimaeus and his courage, his hope that led him to cry out to you and for your love that uh, led you to listen to him, and call him forward. God, help us to follow that example of Bartimaeus, to cry out to you and trust that you and your love hear us and answer. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you as you continue to prepare for Sunday and all of us as we cry out to God and trust his love.